We're just a few moments away from heat one, and here are the runners. So we have the handlers taking their positions now. It's a two-person team plus the Corgi. Got the holders at the start line, and at the finish line, they will be encouraging their Corgi to be the first one to cross the finish line. Here we go. Flag is up. And Corgi's away. Jax was off to a good start on the inside. Zoe flying now. And outlets Willow Wisp. And boy, it was a close finish. Let's go trackside. Here's Claire with the winner. Oh, you guys, that was such an exciting first race. Congratulations to Willow and Lauren, the pet owner. Tell us, so how are you guys preparing for this race? Well, this... Um this toy, she never actually gets to play with it because she likes to rip it apart. So I just brought it out for this because I knew she really loves it. And I saw here that Willow can do over 200 tricks, right? What is one of her favorite ones to do? Uh, she loves to wave. Okay. So, Willow. Let's see if we can get her. Willow, wave. Oh, that is just perfect. Willow, you are a good little pup. And what is she looking forward to in the next race? How are you feeling about it? I'm pretty excited. <laughs> good. Well, good job, Willow. Tom, back up to you. <laughs> All right, Claire, thank you, and congratulations to Willow and the team for taking heat number one. Now we turn to the second heat, and here they are on the track. Here's the field, and lining up for the second heat, 11 corgis will dash off the mark. The track is fast here at Emerald Downs for the 2021 Corgi races. Let's see who it will be in heat number two. So we're just about set for this one. Eleven set to go. Waiting for a start. And Corgi is away. Butterbean off to a good start from the outside. Joey as well. Tubulin up there in the middle of the track. Tubulin fired late and got the job done. Once again, let's go trackside. Here's Claire with the winners. Oh, well, congratulations to Tubulin and owner Rachel. Tell me a little bit about the name because I know it has a specific scientific reason. Yeah, uh, Tubulin is involved in mitosis. And since it's a essential protein, we thought we had to give him a essential name, so. Oh. I love it. Tell me, what does Tubulin like to do for fun? Uh, running. Running. And what is his favorite toy that he likes to chase after? Squeaky balls. Do you guys have any special training regimen for him? Uh, we sprint Tuesdays and Thursdays and long runs on Mondays. Awesome. Are you guys excited for the final race? Yeah. Good. Well, good luck to Tubulin and number five. Back to you, Tom. All right. Thank you, Claire. And congratulations to Tubulin and his owners and handlers. The third heat is upon us, and here they are. And they have arrived at the starting line and begin to take position. A dozen corgis in this third heat. And after this one, we're already halfway through the heat trials. Then we'll have three more heats a little bit later on. The top two finishers will advance to the championship. Here we go, the flag is up. And Corgi's away. There goes Snickers towards the outside with a big run far outside. I think it was Foxy Roxy. It was a close finish, but it may have been Foxy Roxy who posted a late charge from the outside in the final jumps. And, and boy, Foxy Roxy is, is thirsty now, but uh, ran a big race. Right now, let's go trackside once again. Here's Claire. Oh, you guys, what a race that was. Congratulations to Foxy Roxy and Lisa. And you were excited. What does this mean to you guys? Uh, three years of training we've been working for this. We're super excited to be a part of this today. Oh, so awesome. She did great. You guys are matching in color. Tell me, what is the trick to get her to run so fast? She loves her mama. And puppuccinos. Okay, you have a little something special. I want to see what you give her. Ah, little can of whipped cream. All right, does she get one right now? You want it? You want a pup? 
Oh, she loves that Puppuccino. Who doesn't? A true Pacific Northwest dog, Tom. We've seen a lot of exciting action already, and I'm sure that there is more in store as we get ready for the fourth trial event here, a field of a dozen. They are taking position now as we're just seconds away from a start. All the corgis are at the start line. And the callers heading to the finish line so they can urge their corgis home. The flag is up and corgis away. On the outside, Fox for Old Man do, but there goes Chance and now Loki. Oh, Angus in a final surge. Angus put the move on him in the final jumps. We need to take a look at the replay, but Angus found an opening in the late stages. Once again, let's go trackside. Here's Claire. You guys, Angus, you did it again. I was nervous for you, buddy. You needed to make this race. What does it mean to you guys to win this first heat? Um, it means a lot. Oh, we're ready for the next one, but there's a lot of pressure, I feel like, on the, the yeah. reigning champ this time. So. We want to keep the trophy in Auburn, so. Do you think he knows how big a stakes this is? <laughs> Probably not, to be honest. Not at all. Uh, well, Angus, we hope you bring the trophy home, but also we just hope for a good race. Tom, back to you. As we move along to the fifth race heat of the Corgi races, as they line up for this fifth race. A field of 11 will go postward here. Mr. Starter just moments away from giving us a start here in the fifth race. Flag is up and Corgi's away. Rye was off to a good start and Gravy middle of the track, Gravy gets the job done. Let's check in once again with Claire. She's got the winners. Oh, Gravy, congratulations. And I have to say, this outfit is spectacular. Tell me the reasoning behind it. This is not an outfit. Oh, this is your normal attire. Yeah, for the most part. I did hear that uh, the Gravy's birthday might be something special. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, he is an all-American corgi. Um, we actually call him the American Psycho, as you can tell. He's a little high strung for racing, so he's got his muzzle on. But yeah, he was born on the 4th of July, so he races for America. Oh, I love it with the Olympics. Perfect. Are you guys looking forward to the finals? We're looking forward to a lot of beer afterwards, so. Oh, cheers, cheers. All right, well, that is so exciting. And uh, Tom, what a race and what the outfit. Back up to you. Here we go for the sixth race our final heat to determine the field for the 2021 Corgi Championship here at Emerald Downs. And everybody's in position. Mr. Flagman, let's let him go. Flag is up and Corgi's away. Noodle McFluffins flew off the mark. Milo Ben soaring at the inside. Oh, and Korzik! It looks like Korzik came through at the rail in the final jump. Let's go trackside to Claire. Oh, you guys, what a race. It came right down to the finish. I was nervous. How have you guys been training for the race and getting ready? I don't know. We haven't been training much, but we just told him that he needs to run to me. <laughs> That's it. Uh, but he sure listened, that is for sure. But he's not even one years old. Tell us a little bit about him. He's exactly one year old. So he has had his birthday on the 21st of July. So it's his birthday gift. <laughs> Happy birthday. And we hope you run so fast in the next race. You guys, this is so exciting. Coming down to the finish line. We have one more race. It's the finals, and we have that coming up live from Emerald Downs. And ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the 2021 Corgi Championship here at Emerald Downs. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big urging for the championship. And the flag is up. And Rye came flying off the mark to the roar of the crowd. Angus the inside and Chance, Chance, Angus. And Angus 
has done it again. Angus, a defending champion from 2019, he found a second wind and came back. Right now, let's go down to the winner's circle. Here's Claire. Oh, you guys. Angus here takes it again. What does it mean to both of you? Um, it means a lot. <laughs> it means I, saw, I saw him got really excited. Yeah. Tell me how you were feeling. I, I'm proud of him. You know, he's, he's our child, and we just want to showcase him. So. Here is your trophy. Just a little something. Just a little something for you all. Angus, you deserve this. And I heard last year, Angus got something special for winning. What did he have last year, and what are you going to do to celebrate this year? We got a mistake after the last time, and we're going to go to the store right after this and get a mistake. Too. Okay. What cut? It might be Wagyu. I don't know. <laughs> He deserved it. Well, thank you to everyone, all the pups. They are so stinking cute. And hopefully you all come out next year. Maybe we'll have more dogs and be ready again for the Corgi races here at Emerald Downs. Thanks, guys.